we have at this moment African praise. Please put your hands together as they sing to the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Once again, can I ask you to please jam those hands together for the African praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. The Lord bless you all. One or two announcements. There will be meeting of all foreign country and provincial coordinators of the School of Disciples on Saturday, 8 December 2018. Venue, Redeemer's Disciples Secretariat Redemption Camp. Time for foreign country, meet, uh, meet by 10 a.m. Please note time that has been adjusted, 10 a.m. For provincial coordinators, meet at 12 noon. Praise the Lord. Announcement by our dear mommy in the Lord, mommy Gio. It's time for us. Open Heaven's Daily Devotional. For 2019 is out.
hard copies and electronic version for your mobile phones. Visit the open heaven stand at the back of the altar to get a copy. Please do that before you go home tonight. And God bless you as you attend to this. And then also remember to buy a copy for your friends, your loved ones, and God will bless you richly. Time for testimonies. We have online testimonies from the United States of America. Mrs. Ige wrote in to say she received her healing from stomach cramps that troubled her for four days after using the anointed handkerchief. Bamidele Jolayemi from Nigeria. Before Congress 2015, on November 1 precisely, a motorcycle hit her mother and she was unconscious for four days. Doctors declared that she can only walk after six months. As a 75-year-old woman, during Congress 2015, in response to requesting one thing from the Lord by the DGO, the Lord visited her mother. The following day, Sunday, she began to walk. EFB OB from Nigeria. She followed the special Holy Ghost service, the March edition of the special Holy Ghost service, through a word from, of knowledge from our Father in the Lord, the, the General Overseer. The Lord delivered her from barking like a dog. Also in Nigeria, from Mrs. Leho Ojo, she used the anointed handkerchief on a woman who, who had had three surgical operations. And miraculously, God healed the woman. No more fourth operation and no more pause. From United Kingdom, for me, T. Cole wrote in, he says, as a result of the prayer yesterday, as led by the GO, her request for a particular letter from her former employer, which has been refused her for months, was granted her before sunrise. She put the time 11 42 p.m. UK time. Let's put our hands and celebrate Jesus, the greatest, the greatest. Hallelujah. We would listen to live testimony now. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Pastor Omininite Sobereko, Youth Province 5. By the grace of God, every month, we're a team of 30 who normally go out for crusade. For last month, 24th and 25th, we are to go to a community called Utu Community River State in Nigeria. We got there, finished the crusade Sunday morning. Some of us had to come back, 12 of us coming back in two cars. From Potako to the community is about three hours. So we are returning. We left the community by 6.15 a.m. Sunday, 25th of November. As we are approaching a community called Elele, some gunmen came out from the bush. They were all on military uniform. They started shooting at us. I was driving the first car, and the second car was coming behind me. I got confused, not knowing what to do, so I stopped in the middle of the road. And then the shooting increased. In the November Holy Ghost service,
and tried to open the door. Somehow, God denied him the wisdom to pass his hand when there's no wind, no glass, to open the door by himself. But he was trying to open the car door from the outside. He couldn't. Then he cocked his gun. When I saw that he had cocked the gun, I now like came to my senses. I now engaged the car on the drive gear and I pressed on the gas, the gas pedal. And we zoomed up. I'd increased the, the shooting. So I ducked. Meanwhile, everybody in the car ducked and they were shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So when I pressed on the gas pedal, I didn't know we moved into the bush because the two tires on my side were already shattered with bullets. So I was able to hold the car and turn it back to the road and then we escaped. No bullet touched anybody. Nobody sustained any bullet injury. So let somebody shout hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Our name is Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Sadiwali Benson. We want to give glory to the goodness of God. First of all, we thank God for the salvation of our soul. So, uh, over 18 years ago, we have been trusting God for this beautiful gift. Last year convention, we were here. And we are God. When will our time of testimony come? And as that was ministering, he said, somebody is asking, when will God do my own, that the Lord has answered you? Just last, after last uh, convention, precisely August 17, God gave us this bundle of joy, a baby girl named Dominion, Olua Shindara, Olua Tiresimi, Akwa Mispasi, Praise the Lord! We are from Proverbs 55. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I'm Shola Shobande by name. And by the grace of God, I'm a pastor on Daogun Proverbs 4. I battled with goiter, swollen all around my neck for 17 years. And in July, I went for the surgery. I went to put him for the surgery. I was given a time and it was September 24th. And I told God, I wouldn't go for surgery over 50 years. And it has lasted 17 years without word of knowledge from Daddy Gio. So in September, Holy Ghost night, Daddy was about rounding up. And he said, the Lord said there is someone here that you will go through the fire without any scars. I held on to it. I said, that must be me. I went in for the surgery. It was a major one. Should have lasted four hours. But as the surgery was on, I had cardiac arrest. And my daughter that was with me called the brother at home. He began to use the three handkerchiefs to tell God that this woman should live again. And she kept on reminding God about she will go through the fire without scars. And behold, I'm alive today. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. So him alone be all glory. Praise the Lord. We are Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Lainka. Beodun Lainka from Ogun Province 3. Grace and Truth Zone. We got married in 1997, and since then, we have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Uh, we do attend various programs in the church, Holy Ghost Nights, Congress, Convention, Shiloh Hour, Divine Encounter, with expectation. And on two occasions, we had personal uh, visit to our daddy, our daddy in the Lord, Daddy Adeboe, and prophetically he told us that God has answered our prayer. So we held on to that prophecy all the while, and several times that we call me out for prayers, that has been our guide. To the glory of God, while waiting, our parents 
our grandparents in Ogun Province 3 have been on their knees praying for us. Mommy Otegbade several times had VG with us and connect us with Mommy Gio for prayers. And the same vein, Daddy Lawal, then our regional pastor intervened. In 2016, he gave us Daddy Gio's mantle to pray with. For one week, the mantle was with us. After that, we, we had the conviction that God has visited us. The same vein, our province daddy, Pastor Bolo Rekoya, prophetically prayed for us. And to the glory of God, God of Daddy Gio visited us two months to our 21st wedding anniversary, precisely August 9th, 2018. And God has blessed us with this wonderful baby. The God of Adeboye has blessed us with this baby, Okweyemi, Ileri Oluwa Kiye, Mogbadebo, Lainka. Praise be unto the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. July 30th, 2017, during my send forth from the university, a mad woman entered into the church and she came towards me after while people were helping her out. And she said, I came to revenge you of what your father did seven years ago. And she dipped her hands into my eyes. And immediately I went blank. Then I kept crying, God, I served you throughout my school days. I don't want to graduate being blind. During August convention, this day, on the Friday of that day, that the Jew was ministering, and I felt a odd sensation in my eyes. Then I requested for water. Immediately I washed my face. I saw clearly again, all to the glory of God. I can see, and that has been what has made me an evangelist in Ekosodi, where I won 21 souls last month, and I know I will still win more for him, for he has done it. All glory and honor to him. Who did it? Praise the Lord! Our name is Mr. and Mrs. Adu Oladapo. We are from the city of David, Ayetoro, Lagos Province 68. We got married in 1999. Since then, we have been looking for the fruit of the womb, from one doctor to the other. But in his own appointed time, September 2017, we came for zero hour. After the silo hour, someone invited me to open heaven house. And I went there in agony of my heart. And when we went around, at last they said we should enter the bedroom that Baba first used. And when I enter, I knelt down in agony, sharing tears. And I said, God of Adeboye, enough is enough for me to be a parent woman. Prove yourself. As a living God of Adeboye to the old world, I need my own children. I did not even say a child. I said I need my own children. And I pray that if you give me the children, I'm here to testify. Exactly November that same year, doctor confirmed me pregnant. To the glory of God, I delivered to these twins August 31st, 2008. 18 this year and i give all the glory to god of adeboye the living god of adeboye who did it for us praise the lord praise ye the lord My name is A.P. Mrs. Bosse George, the provincial coordinator for Ogun Province, Seven Region 12. I got married 34 years ago, and this year I became 60 years. Last year, September 2017, the Holy Ghost service for the waiting mothers, team with team truthfulness. 
I was here as usual. Then Daddy Gio says God asked him for the wedding gift. That his wedding is going to be 50 years that September. And Daddy Gio says he told God 50,000 children. Few years back, it was 70,000. As I was sitting in the congregation, I said, God, that God should make me a beneficiary. Enough of coming every month, listening to other people's testimony. I too want to be a testifier. Immediately, I prayed that prayer inside of me. I saw a hand from heaven bringing a baby, a newborn baby, I'm a nurse. So it was exactly the baby wrapped with white shawl. So when the baby was brought, it was put on my right lap. I became conscious. Then I now claimed the baby. I said, I receive it. I have it. And before I know it, I don't know whether I'm in trance or in dream or vision. I don't know. And I want to appreciate the God of uh, the Geo, the God of Redeemed Christian Church of God. This year, October 7, God bless my family with dominion. Ori of Samuel, Adura Shimba, Jordan. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Pastor Peter Adedeji, the pastor in charge of province of Sun Wan. This is my, tes my testimony. I was terribly sick for over 10 months. And then in my life, since then I've been born, I've never had anything called sickness in my life. And that person can move from one place to another. But when this thing came in, I thought I was dreaming. At the end of the day, I was battling with it. But I was so fortunate to be one of those people that the DGO pray for in the month of February. And then on that particular day, by the time I got home, I just discovered that my system was changed positively. And then since then, I've been doing glory be to God. Hallelujah. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lord Jesus. The vine. The greatest one. The God who is more than enough. The one who is higher than the highest. The one who is taller than the tallest. The eternal Amen. Adonai. The God who lives forevermore. The ancient of days. The lily of the valley. The bright and morning star. The God who the God who does all things and makes all things new. He has intervened in the lives of all of these people and he would intervene in our lives today. Celebrate him. Worship him. Glorify the Lord. Thank him. Blessed be God. Father, we thank you. You're still the greatest. You're still the greatest. You're still the greatest. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Please be seated. I wish to declare to you that your testimony will be the next that the whole world will listen to. If you believe that, let your amen be the loudest. We thank our God. At this point, we will take the Congress theme song composed by our beloved Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. The first stanza will be taken by the choir while we we'll sit. And afterwards, from the second stanza, we'll all rise to sing together. The choir.
Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. I wish to declare to someone that the hour your destiny has been waiting for is here. Our dear Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye will be ministering very shortly as he takes the theme of this Congress, Glory Ahead. But before he comes on, the Mass Choir will minister, followed by Pastor Kunle Ajayi, the Mass Choir.
Christ alone. My hope is found. He is my life, my strength, my song. This cornerstone. Come on. 